Hey everyone, time for another update on the 1966 Batmobile. As you can see, we have been very busy producing the first batch. And it has turned out to be a lot more work than expected. So uh, for every piece uh, that we make, uh, every single part of that is going to be hand sanded and polished three times, starting at 240 grit, then 400 grit, then going on to 800 grit. And so we are doing this together with suppliers and for <laughs> the suppliers are actually literally working day and night now because we just have too many components. There's uh, almost... 200 components uh, on uh, each each vehicle um, and uh, it takes more than a month just to produce the parts and then another month to, to do the sanding uh, and then we're st we're still not finished with the with the sanding uh, so we started out with seven people handing us with the sanding and the for the sets the we, we finished 30 sets and that took a hundred and twenty hours of work so uh, we went up to 15 uh, people helping us and that helped but of course there's not a lot of other assembly going on uh, here you can see an example of the electronics I mean there are from my from memory I would say there is 22 LEDs that all have to be wired up and inserted in the right place glued up uh, in the right place cleaned up and then of course attached to the custom PCB board that we have um, designed uh, f that is custom designed for us I must say by uh, Tenna Controls Ralph uh, is doing an excellent job there um, then all the custom made lights because there's no LED bulbs in the correct size like this but then you know the results are pretty amazing and then of course for the DX we have the stuff like this with um, the 3D flame and the magnets that have to become uh, uh, get attached every magnet has to be tested then for the correct positioning and polarity and then as you can see painted in in three different shades so that it it, it really gives this cool flame effect we've also been testing out shooting for the clear um red that should be on the top of the sirens and the antlers then there's the hard parts with the thin red lines or the very 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 small buttons so what you're seeing here is an actually custom tool that is made for the two red starter buttons <laughs> that go on the dashboard and you can imagine you need a lot of that um, we've recreated the testers uh, orange turn or signal orange for the bat ray uh, signals then again for the DX the bat ram that is optional that can be just be attached or detached every set will come with two of these radars that are very breakable I mean I was sure somebody was going to break them so every kit comes with two then for the interior parts that can be more of a matte silver but for the exterior parts and some of the chrome parts that was very difficult as you know we've tried chrome plating then we did electro plating but in both cases either the durability of the, uh, the, uh, the the plastics or the durability of the finish itself uh, turns out to be not as good as we wanted so with our suppliers we've been working on uh, getting a real good chrome paint going um, the paint solution unfortunately is more expensive um, but I'm I just I'm more confident uh, in the long dur uh, long term durability of that and as you can see uh, especially on that bigger piece for the chair it really does look like a really reflective silver finish then of course uh, the assembly of uh, well over a hundred parts per vehicle and we're assembling this with uh, many many screws and um, then there are metal substructures metal uh, there's a, like a, um, a separate metal metal frame pieces that we use um, to make sure everything is uh, stiff and straight um, and so uh, we actually uh, have to torque in uh, those pieces so here you see an example of the first two uh, of the custom um, aluminium bars that are created in the correct shape and torqued in to get uh, everything straight and keep everything straight because of course this thing uh, being close to a meter in length what is that somewhere between three and four feet then you have to paint the whole thing red uh, and then you have to tape off every single piece that um, needs to have the red line show before you can do uh, the black paint 
And so every single piece is hand painted, hand masked. Then it needs to be, um, uh, yeah, well, I don't know, would you say cooked in an oven or at least uh, heated in an oven so that the finish can dry smoothly and uh, securely and, and really become hard uh, uh, so, so that it's um, uh, as scratch resistant as a paint can be. And then we're testing out the different line widths. So on the right, you see the older samples that had the wider lines. And then for the newer, you see uh, the, the, uh, the, the smaller lines that are more accurate. Of course, the smaller masking tape is even harder to get on uh, straight and uh, cleanly and have enough surface uh, to grab on, you know, and hold on when we apply uh, the black paint with air pressure. Um, so it is tricky. Um, and then of course we have the first samples of the very cool, very big box, the packaging that has been approved. And as you can see this again, high quality, very thick cardboard and combination of UV spot lacquer and the matte surface for a really high end look. Meanwhile, the production of parts is still ongoing. All in all, it's just a lot more work than we anticipated all with all the handwork involved. Um, so that's why the second, the first batch is taking a little longer, you know, late July, early August, but, um, the second batch should be a lot quicker because of that. So, uh, bear with us. We're in the home stretch. Thanks for your support and we will keep you updated.